Moochie, are you ready to hear how Trump might not even have to go to jail and probably might get all these damn convictions expunged? Don't that, man. I, I mean, what? I told you I didn't think he was going to jail, though. Well, you going to take Secret Service in there with him? Because any ex-president have that. But I'm going to let you. I want to hear what you have to say. All right. All right. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, let's break it on down. So first and foremost, the people that love Trump in the Republican Party have been trying to paint this narrative that the greater majority of Americans is clamoring for his convicted ass. Take a look at him just waving at nobody in several in several events, just fucking waving at nobody. Take a look at this. So he just pops out these little circles, lead Trump Tower, just wave at no damn body. And basically, the Republican Party is trying to make it feel as though there is more adulation being thrown upon this man because of what's standing in front of him. I dropped a video last week on how white privilege might be saving this guy. But at the end of the day, it's not white privilege that's going to save him. That's not what's going to save him. And before I tell you exactly what's going to save him, take a look at this. Trump has raised $200 million in donations since his guilty verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a problem. That is a problem. Dare I say, had this been Barack Obama or anybody black for that matter, that get 34 convictions that involve scandalous things such as cheating on your wife while she's pregnant with a porn star. Every religious wacko and whack job would be out here not only damning Barack Obama, but damning black men. Yep. But the majority of flyover country is co-signing with this bull job and sending this man money that they don't have. So that's one backdrop. The other backdrop to what I'm saying is this. As Trump makes levels to trying to get out of doing his jail time, he's going to have to face these women right here, which I always say, Moochie, it always comes down to the black American woman to save the damn society and now to save the world. His appellate process is going to have to go through these sisters and how fitting that he's going to have to go through them because he hates black women unless he can have sex with them. And even then he's not treating them like a human, it's an object. But we haven't forgotten about the Central Park Five either. Nope. And you're going to have to go through them. And let's just say all else fails. They say you can't do, deal with this appeal. You're not getting it. You're still going to have to face jail time. Moochie, there is one more thing that I believe is what's going to save Trump's ass. And are you ready to hear it? I'm here. Open ears. <laughs> can't shut them off. <laughs> the damn Supreme Court is uh. what's going to save Trump's ass. And let me tell you how they're going to save it, ladies and gentlemen. Normally, the Supreme Court doesn't get into immunity cases that deal with the president because it's unprecedented. Well, they did this time. Immunity from federal law. Now, mind you, the case that happened in New York is not federal law, it's state's law. But if the Supreme Court was to rule a president is immune from federal law, there is a clause in the Constitution, Moochie, that says federal law takes precedence over state law. And if it happens that they say he's immune, that federal law is going to take precedence over the state law, which they can just go argue. Now that he's immune, you got to throw this shit out. And most likely it's going to get thrown out. Now, Moochie, why do I think that the Supreme Court is going to rule in his favor? Because Justice Sotomayor, two weeks ago, gave her interview in which her ass was crying in tears, walking to her chamber saying that we are not ready for the things that are about to come down the pipe from this Supreme Court. Having said that, Moochie, I believe the biggest impediment to Trump not going to jail is going to be this Supreme Court saying that he's immune from federal legal actions, federal felonies, federal laws, 
and therefore they'll be able to go and relitigate this right here that happened in New York and get rid of all of it. What say you, my sister Moochie? I feel like if they do that, it's gonna it, it, it's just showing you that the scales of justice are completely in favor of the white man. I, I you cannot uh, uh, if if Obama did the same crime, they would mm -hmm. put him under the jail, under, under the, the jail, under it. And it, 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 it this is the same feeling I had January six when we saw those people walk up in there with no problem and everybody in their minds thought it, it, it that that's that's of color if this happened if this was a, a black group of people they wouldn't have made it past the first step so they just show you how they're just showing you how unfair this country is to me and how if how they just showed you white privilege in your face Mm -hmm. And they're gonna say it's because he's a president. He broke the law, right? He Bro broke the law. He shouldn't be. He, he's a felon. He shouldn't be able to, to. He can't vote. So how are you running for office? So if that's the case, remove every conviction from somebody that has mm -hmm. fresh feet because now it's legal in half the states. So you need to. If you're gonna straighten out his record, you need to straighten out the rest of the people's records. Muchi. Another, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something else that could be happening that the powers that be don't realize might be happening. That they're setting us up for Moochie. This might sound like um, conspiracy, far, far fetch. <laughs> it might sound like a conspiracy, Moochie. What they don't realize they're setting us up for is the second civil war in our country's history. They want this to happen. That's Moochie. If by any of these means, Trump, first of all, doesn't get convicted. I think that's the only all. If he doesn't get convicted and somehow he's able to use the Supreme Court, that he enacted three of these buffoons in office, yet he's trying to accuse the Biden administration of doing political persecution. What the hell is this going to look like? Secondly, Mucci, if they let him, if they let him get away with this, you're telling people that there is no real justifiable means of equal um, fair law in this country. That's what you're telling people. And one argument that they have been using for why they might not put them in jail, Muchi, which makes me mad as all get up, is that they are worried that if we put them in jail, we might be risking another insurrection. And I'm like, the F? If but they insurrect, throw their yeah. asses in jail too. Get all of them. Them the ones we don't need in society that claims to be a democratic society in the first place. Throw their asses in jail. Because I remember Mucci clearly. When the Million Man March first happened, they were so worried they had the damn um the damn National Guard down there trying to thinking that something was going to happen. Just worried. And if that would have got out of hand, do you think they would have had a problem with going through every record they could find and throw every single person in jail that they could? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't have been a problem. No. The, I, they I, still... I feel like they're making double standards. And now if they pass this 2025 rule, and yeah. let's say if it's an insurrection in the opposite direction, where mm -hmm. it's majority of people of color, I, I'm going to give you a, a hypothetical. Okay. Which, if it could happen, let's say if all the migrants and all the the, the people of color got together and decided to do a erection, a, a, a insurrection, mm -hmm. you know how they would turn. They would send everybody back, and they would put all the people that live here in jail. In jail, all of them. So Every it's like one of stop. You know, I don't understand how they trying to con us with this. And he conned all of these poor people to get, put money in his campaign. And that's basically to pay the legal fees. Right, right. Well, let me bring in um, our homie Monique Nicole in the building, ladies and gentlemen, because we, we're doing politics on the first subject because I know this is something that turn her blood pressure up and we don't want her blood pressure to skyrocket too hard as we go to these subjects. But basically, Monique Nicole, I'll let you get in on this. We're talking about what I feel is the biggest impediment to Trump not going to jail. And I think it's going to be the Supreme Court 
saying that he has presidential immunity, which will then cover him from state state felonies because the Supreme, the Constitution has a clause that says the federal federal guidelines supersede state guidelines. That's what I think might be the only thing to keep him out of jail and get all his convictions basically going away. How do you feel about the likelihood of Trump going to jail and that possibly happening, Monique? Listen, I, uh, when it comes to this shit, sorry, it's probably too soon to curse. Oh, no, no. Um, hey, hey, look, like like we say about, uh, it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> this channel is one of your platforms. And by the way, you might want to get this right here. Be sure to go to shoplifegays.com. <laughs> Get the shirt that says convicted looks good on me because this might become a commemorative because he might only be convicted from now till July 11th when his hearing goes. But go ahead. Floor is yours. Yeah. You know, um, shit. What was I going to say? You know, y'all, I've lost faith in politics, government, so I don't really have um, high expectations anymore, mm -hmm. um, especially since this person entered government in the white house so you know lamont um i don't even have predictions like you and moochie do i'm just sit, i'm just here really when it comes to this i'm gonna sit back i'm gonna listen to y'all i'm gonna take what y'all say because you guys are well versed in this and i'm kind of just like i'm gonna wait and see right because right. we've seen that the government the powers that be have bent the rules for Trump. They have allowed things to happen that were never allowed, that typically would be frowned upon. And we've seen them bend the rules, make allowances for him, turn the other cheek, or not turn the other cheek, but turn a blind eye to things. So, you know, I'll believe it when I see it. You know, yeah. if you really going to go down, if they're really going to punish him, if they're really going to do the right thing, I'll believe it when I see it. Okay. Is that fair? Is no, that fair? it's 100% fair. And um, I'll get us out of here on this. The thing that burns me up the most about the Trump and the MAGA movement is that one thing even Monique just said when she started her wonderful soliloquy is mm -hmm. that she doesn't have a whole lot of faith in what's going on in government. And that is something that Trump and the MAGA movement wants. They want you to doubt everything in government, which kind of allows you to believe some of the craziness that they throw out there because everything they say is not rooted in fact. And the other thing that bothers me is Trump is corrupting the plight of Black people from the inception of getting freedom till now, when we used to always say the government is skewed against us, the government is harming us, the government has these things and mechanisms in place that are hurting us. He's taking that vitriol and trying to use it for his own plight. Dude, stop it. And I'm not talking to him. I'm talking to the buffoons that believe in this shit. <laughs> that's what he's doing. And them same people that's believing in this never believed in it when black folks were saying it. Mm -mm. never mm -mm. never but now all of a sudden because a white guy is saying that you believe in all this shit the government has conspiracies against people the government is out to get people but you never believed it when black folks were saying that type of stuff so yeah folks for me this hinges on the supreme court and when you look at the ones on the right if you're facing the screen no faith for me that which is the number one reason i continue to say no matter how much you hate joe biden yeah. that's the number one reason you must vote for him the number one reason so let us know what you think be sure to go and get this memorabilia because i'm telling y'all it might be memorabilia when the supreme court gives their ruling sometime late june early july oh, and God. they say that he gets immunity this shirt is going to be a memorabilia piece. Shoplifegains.com. Convicted looks good on you. Hell, I might have to take it down then because I probably could get sued because it won't be true no more. Dang. Yeah. Lamont, I actually thought that they were going to um drag it out with appeals. They are. But let's say they do drag it out with appeals. 
the Supreme Court has already done heard, heard the hearing on his immunity case. And so if they drag it out with appeals and the Supreme Court just comes out and says, look, because he's a former president, um, he gets immunity, presidential immunity. He should not immunity. get immunity because he was doing espionage. You it don't matter. Files that they found there. This dude is giving giving away secrets. This is why all of these people is coming in here. I don't care what nobody says. This was all calculated with him. He's a traitor in my eyes. He doesn't care about the U.S. He definitely don't care about black people. All of those fake things where you see him standing behind a whole bunch of black people, those are computer generated. They are not real. They're just like he fabricated the crowd in the Bronx. It wasn't that many people there for him. But yet they hey. took they took pictures like it was a lot of people, and they even swapped out different footage footage to show to make it look like it was more people than than it really was there. Camera tricks, everything is smoke and mirrors with him. He's a con artist. I just I, I don't even feel bad for the people. If you pay, gave him money for them ugly sneakers, if you gave him money for them them horrible looking sneakers. <laughs> and, the, and the whatever he was else he was selling you need to put a real you need to have a lollipop because you a sucker that's what you are you was a lick wow well, what mochi tell these ninjas bro you need a yo put me on camera yo that put, put me on mother yo i'm about to say that to somebody my nigga you what you say you, <laughs> nigga, you need a lollipop because what you, you a sucker, sucker. you got lick what mm. what you mean? yeah that's the word. I'm going to use that. Mm -hmm. use well, that. ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think. But go in there and buy this shirt. Get like 30 of them while you're in there. Right. Post your comments. Let us know what you think.